What's going on everybody? It's your community manager Nakat and today I am here to officially teach you how to play Arya Stark. So jumping right into it, some of her weaknesses are that she's extremely lightweight which means that she is able to be wrung out and KO'd very early. She's very reliant on pinpoint accuracy when striking her opponents and she takes a while to kill off of the top into the top blast zone. Her strengths are she has a sword which gives her good range, she has a great combo game, unique face steal mechanic that allows her to use moves from her opponents, she has strong horizontal kill power, and she racks up damage very fast. Other than that, Arya in my opinion is a character that is for an intermediate player. So you want to play Arya if you are in between a beginner and a professional level player, but that should not make you feel like you can't use her even if you are just starting out. She's extremely fun, she's extremely fast, and I believe that she is a character that most people will gravitate to, especially if they are fans of the Game of Thrones series. Now, let's jump directly into some of her moves and how they work. Her dash attack is a three hit move. As you can see, it knocks your opponent very far away, so if they get hit by dash attack, even from this distance, and all of it doesn't connect, they will still go flying on the final hit. So keep that in mind that this is a great tool if you want to approach your opponent, and if you want to ring out your opponent if they are at the ledge. Dash attack also has the added bonus of being a great punish tool if your opponent does a move that is super laggy. So if Bugs Bunny dash attacks me and I avoid it, I am able to weave right back in and actually punish him with a dash attack and I can show you that in action right now. And that's only one option out of many that if your opponents decide to do if there is enough cooldown on the move or whiff lag, meaning if the move misses, the opponent is stuck in a state where they are unable to do anything else, you will be able to punish with a move like dash attack. But that is not the only move that is able to do that. If Bugs Bunny does another dash attack, I can punish with a forward attack or rather side attack on the ground. So if you want to use your side attack, there's many ways you can use it. You can press it twice to do a two hit combo. You can press it once and then immediately go into your upward special for a true guaranteed combo, which leads into two different follow-ups. You have the combo where you do side attack into up special into upward aerial that can also ring out opponents when they're at super high damage, or you can do side attack into upward special into side aerial, which also has the ability to ring out opponents. But just being able to guaranteed put your opponent in the air is a good situation because if you're able to get them in this position, they have to land while you are under them, allowing you to kind of chase them while they're in the air so you can actually actually threaten them for more damage or of course a KO. Neutral attack is very straightforward. It's a move where she stabs forward. However, it has great range and you have the ability to charge it, which allows it to kill at later percents. So if I give Bugs Bunny damage, let's say we put Bugs Bunny at 62 and I hit him with a fully charged neutral attack, you can actually see how far he goes flying. If he stands around here and I decide to do that at 77, that is a clean KO ring out and that is a point for you and your team if you are playing duos. One of the drawbacks to this move is that once you use it, you are committed to finishing the entire move. Therefore, you will not be able to cancel this into a dodge immediately or a jump. Down attack is a very cool move. In my opinion, down attack is one of the coolest moves uh, that Arya has. When she does a down attack, she actually uses meter because she's also invincible during this move while she has meter. This move allows you to cross up your opponent and actually hit them with a swift strike. So instead of dodging and then pressing an attack, you can also use this because this arguably is faster and has the ability to kill at higher damage. Another note about down attack on the ground is that you don't always have to let the move turn around. As you can see, when she rolls, Arya faces the opponent. If you hold the direction while in that move that you want to face at the end of it, it will actually not turn her around. Therefore, I don't have to dodge through Bugs Bunny to hit him with this move. I can actually press down attack right here, 
face him directly and smack him away. Up attack on the ground is a great move for setting up combos. If you're able to catch an opponent with this move, not only does it have great range in front of her and above her, you are actually able to follow up with an upward aerial. Now let's say they're at a damage, uh, a damage percentage where you're not able to actually follow up as a guaranteed combo. If you knock them up and you wait for them to air dodge, you can actually pressure them into doing that option so you can hit them after. Dead. And I didn't even hit the first part of the move. Because it's a two hit move in the air, you might be able to still score the KO even if you miss that first part because the second part will hit them and send them flying. Side air is a move that you can approach with you can actually just jump at your opponent and press side and attack button and you will actually throw this move out, which is a great move for knocking your opponent's way. If you want to actually put some more power into the move, you can hold down the action while you're moving forward. That way it puts more strength and you see that charge. You don't have to charge it all the way. You can actually let it go rather quick. You can charge a little bit, then let it go, or you can do the full move altogether. The more you do it, the further they're going to fly. Arya's neutral aerial is a multi-hit move that knocks the opponent away. It doesn't often lead into a guaranteed situation right there. Bugs Bunny can dodge this because he's going too far away because of his damage. Now, let's see what happens. We kill him. In this situation where I approach with neutral air, again, it is a multi-hit move. And at lower percentages, you're sometimes able to connect it into your grounded side attack. All a guaranteed combo off of neutral aerial while your opponent is at low percent. Give him about 27 damage. Downward aerial is a spike onto the ground. You can spike your opponent into the ground as you saw right there. If I knock my opponent off the stage and they're in a situation where they have to recover, I can actually follow them off stage and as you see, hit them with the downward aerial to kill. The cool thing about Arya's is it's able to be charged for even more strength. This also makes it so that if your opponent decides to dodge, but you charge it just enough to pretty much throw them off and make them dodge, dodge early, you're able to punish them with the downward aerial to secure the KO. You're also able to use this move on the stage as well. I would not approach with this move as much unless you're very confident that you're going to be able to land it because if you do, you are actually able to combo out of it into your other aerial moves. Up attack is a two hit move that we actually covered a little bit earlier. However, just for you all to see, you are able to hit with two swift strikes that knock your opponent upward. Now, this move doesn't have all the knockback in the world. However, outside of other moves, it is able to be set up into to make it more of a deadly force. Therefore, you wouldn't really approach an opponent while they're on the ground with this move. This is more so a move that you want to lead into from your other moves. You want your opponent to be above you as much as possible so you can land this option. That way you can get not only maximum damage, but of course have a move that's under them that they're afraid of. That way if they air dodge, you're able to wait and then punish them. Side special is a move that has a lot of utility from Arya. She's able to throw a dagger onto her opponent and teleport to it from anywhere on the stage. Now, how is this good? Well, if Arya is in a situation where she wants to combo or she needs to recover because she's out of jumps or she's just plain old too far away, she's able to teleport directly to the opponent and it is beneficial to her for many reasons. One, if I do this and I throw it at bugs, but I'm so far off and it looks like I might lose my life, I can actually teleport straight back to the stage as if it was going towards him. This gives me an added benefit to trying to recover because if I lose all of my other options, like my air dodge or my jump, then I'm just a sitting duck off stage and I won't be able to make it back. This also defends me against opponents that want to try to edge guard me off of the stage. Now, if I throw this and I decide I want a combo, I can reel in, use my up special, and of course use my up air as demonstrated earlier, but this time it is off of the side special. And as you see, once you use that side special, you have to wait for it to come back. So be very, very careful about when you use it, how much you use it, and if it will be back in time in order for you to use it again. 
because it has quite the weight to it, almost. Here's another demonstration of side special in action, but in a little bit of a different way. I throw it out, hit my opponent up, teleport to them, and as you can see, I'm much closer to the top blast zone this time around, which allows for some interesting conversions and combos based off of that move alone that she typically wouldn't get otherwise because the dagger is not placed onto the opponent. In other news, you, you don't only have to finish that by using an upward aerial move. I could throw the dagger on, knock my opponent up, teleport to it, up special, and use my forward aerial, or side aerial rather, to be able to hit the opponent and kill them off the side as well. So she has the ability to not only threaten vertical kill pressure with that move, but she has the ability to also threaten horizontal kill pressure with that move as well. So meaning in the heat of a battle, you don't necessarily have to always be willing to just teleport to it immediately because it's sticking to the opponent for quite some time, as you can see. And that just allows you to basically pick and choose for a brief period of time, more than you think, when you apply the pressure of using that move. Keep this in mind though, there is a drawback. If my opponent is prepared to hit me, they are able to actually punish me while I'm reeling into them with the move, which makes it so that I don't get the reward that I want from it and they're able to hit me. If you do not have your sideward special up, you are actually able to use a different sideward special that also has the ability to break armor. Moves that are typically colored in purple like that do have armor breaking capabilities. So if you are fighting a character that has armor like Wonder Woman or Steven, you are able to use that move to pierce through their armor immediately. On another note, if you do have your side special up, you can actually throw it to an ally and it will not damage them, but you can use it to teleport straight to them. Arya's neutral special is one of the coolest things about the character entirely as it is a gameplay defining mechanic for her. Arya has the ability to take the abilities of her opponents. Now, what abilities you get are set, but per character, they're random. So for some characters, you might get their upward attack and for other characters, you might get their downward attack. But let's say for Bugs Bunny, right? I have his dash attack when I steal his face. When I'm on the ground, I can use dash attack. But if I decide to do this again and I jump and use a move, I have his upward aerial. Now you can see the creativity and the utility that comes together when you're blending two characters movesets together. So again, as you can see on the ground, it will be the same thing as before. I steal his face. I do dash attack. This will never change. I will never get any of other of Bugs Bunny's other moves. And it is the same thing in the air. I will have that upward attack every single time even if we go into another match and i fight another bugs bunny it will always be those moves for bugs bunny but for another character instead of getting dash attack you might get something else and this is why you should experiment as aria because depending on what character you're fighting you're able to get some pretty cool and unique conversions out of their move set aria's down special allows her to sharpen her blade if she does this she's able to crack through and pierce armor immediately off of one melee attack Aria's specials on the ground are often resembled in the air as well. Being able to jump and throw your dagger at an opponent and teleport to it is just one thing she can do. And if Aria is in a situation where she needs to land, she can actually use her down special in the air, not only to grant that buff to her blade as explained before, but it allows her to stall in the air, which allows her to mix up opponents as she's trying to land to the ground if they're trying to hit her while she's coming down. Neutral special in the air is a little bit tricky because you will have to intercept your opponent in the air to grab them. But to make this easier, I'll show you that you can just do up special into neutral special and it will link together so you're able to steal a face. Upward special in the air is also a tricky one, but there is some great utility for it. As you see, it lunges her forward. So it's great as a recovery option to get back to the wall. But what if I told you you could use this to also threaten the position of your opponent while they're above you? Here, I'm going to charge an upward attack and then I'm going to follow Wonder Woman. And if she chooses to air dodge, I'm actually going to punish her with the upward special into a KO. So let's see how this pans out.
So just to be clear and concise, here are the options that you can use to just kill as Arya straight up. You have her neutral attack. You have your forward air. You have down attack. And dash attack to top it off as a kill option. Now, this isn't to say that other moves can't kill like her upward aerial, but those are more situational. What I wanted to show you is just some basic moves that you could use by themselves in order to score the ring out. Not to say that we won't get into the complicated stuff. So without further ado, we are actually going to start going over some combos. One simple combo as showed before is jab one and two up special. You're able to link these together so you can score your upward aerial and so you can score your forward aerial, which is very good at the ledge or even if I knock my opponent off stage, if I'm able to catch them with the up special, I'm able to link into a forward aerial or an upward aerial. So you always want to be aggressive off stage to try to hit your opponent so you can land a KO even earlier. Another one that you can do is jab one into this move. So I'm able to do my down attack right after my jab one as a mix up. A lot of people, because of how fast this is, won't see this coming and you're able to actually knock them away, as you can see, because this move has a lot of knockback. So even if you're not looking for a kill necessarily with this move, just treat it as a mix up that while isn't actually guaranteed is a good way to throw off your opponent and keep them guessing. Another combo you can do is neutral air into side attack one into up air. Another combo you can do is neutral air into side attack into up special into up air. Neutral air is a great combo starter. So just keep in mind, you can approach your opponents with this move. You just have to land into them with a fast fall. And to do a fast fall, all you do is jump and hold the down button or even press the down button. But if you let it go, your character will return to a normal fall speed. But the longer you hold it down, they'll fall faster. So when I'm doing this, I'm holding down the entire time while also pressing the neutral attack button. So I'm able to catch my opponent very quickly. This is how I do a lot of aerials if I want to get down to the ground to hit my opponent if they are not in the air. As stated before, Face Steal is a core component of Arya's game. You're going to want to implement Face Steal as much as possible. Typically in a match when using Arya, it's very good to steal your opponent's face and you don't even have to use it immediately. You can hold this for as long as you want. So when you're ready to use it, you can actually use it. You don't even need to use it strictly on the basis of trying to combo into it. So for example, if I wanted to approach my opponent, I could actually just jump at them and use the move that they gave me. In this case, we have Wonder Woman's upward air. So therefore, if I wanted to, I could just do that. Or if I want to actually take her out of the game and actually KO her, I can combo into it with side attack, into up special, into the face still button again. So your neutral special button again, which will send her to the top blast zone. But I want to reiterate again, remember, depending on who you fight is what move you're going to get. Not every move is going to be the same kind of move. So study up on all of your opponents. Here are a few more examples of other things you can do with face still, depending on the character you fight. Here's another combo that you can get off of face still. So once you do side attack into face still, you don't actually have to stop attacking your opponent. You're able to finish your side attack right after by starting it up again and hitting with the second part of it. So watch this again. Now we can actually take it a step further. As you see, I have on the mask of Garnet. Therefore, if I want to actually lead into a combo that could potentially ring her out, I would do something a little like this. That's just for starters. Now, what if I see an opportunity where Garnet is at ring out percent and I feel like I can actually ring her out immediately, but I don't have her mask and I want to do it with her ability. The combo will go a little something like this. All guaranteed. If you want to take it a step further for some extra damage, you can actually do something like this.
all guaranteed even while stealing the face. Therefore, when you steal someone's face, it doesn't have to be the end of your advantage state. You're actually able to push advantage state even harder by continuing the combo by branching into your side attack again, then into your up attack. You can get really creative with how you're able to maintain pressure while also threatening using your opponent's moves against them. And that is the unique yet really, really strong aspect of Arya that is unique to her character and her character alone. Now I'm going to demonstrate what Arya looks like in an actual match with another player. As things start happening in this match, I will talk about them. However, enjoy, sit back, and watch how this character fights in a 1v1 setting. Garnet is stuck above me and I want to keep her above me. She has none of her resources, aka her dodge or her jump, and that's why I'm able to lock her in place. But she just touched the ground, so now she's able to have those options again. Here it comes. I'm going to wait patiently because I don't want to go down there and possibly lose my life. It's a good attempt by the Garnet to try to grab me with that grab to the star. But again, Arya is about patience and knowing exactly when to strike. And because the Garnet sat at the ledge for the majority of the time, I was able to catch her landing with a dash attack and actually take her stock first. I'm gonna play it slow. I have a sword. So even if I feel like I'm too far away, I might have enough space to actually catch her. She missed those punches. I'm able to follow up and steal her face in the meantime. And this is going to prove really useful for me as her damage starts to increase because she's approaching the damage where I'm able to actually use her move against her and take her stop. Pacing back and forth, not get hit. Catch her, but I don't actually convert. Popped her up. Dodge the gauntlets almost was able to ring her out one more of those will definitely do it gonna dodge these moving by her catch the conversion off of the face still still not enough but if i do side attack one into neutral special again she will definitely get wrung out and that almost did it but the neutral special actually traded with her rapid jabs so she's going to still remain alive Misses me with that uppercut. I'm getting that dash attack, but the wall saves Garnet. And now Garnet is at 166. And like I said, this is one of the weaknesses of Arya where on certain stages and against certain characters, they may survive a little bit too long, all while she's being super light. However, I'm doing a good job and not getting hit with any blows that might actually take me out of the match. That's it. The dagger was able to lead into the up special. The Garnet player did not react in time in order to punish me for doing that. And now I was able to get the KO immediately. I got knocked away, but now I'm going to actually sharpen my blades just in case they try to apply any move that might have armor. I got knocked up into the top blast zone and that's going to be it for me. But that's only one life. I'm actually doing relatively well right now. But I have to be careful and take my time versus Garnet's projectiles. Because if I run in too fast and take too much damage, that could be a problem. That's good damage. Gonna punish that air dodge. Garnet player tried to parry again. Got one successful parry already, but I was able to watch out and bait the next one. I use that to cancel my momentum so I don't go any further to the right. I don't want to go too close to the blast zone. Good parry. I get punished, but I still do not die, and that's what's very important. I want to try to survive as much as possible. But since I tried to land on the Garnet player, I actually got hit and died immediately. That's a nice dodge to that move and to get an attack out at the same time. Going to do that again to dodge the gauntlet. not going to be enough and i couldn't actually charge my forward air in that sequence because i wouldn't have had enough time to make it true the garnet player would have been able to air dodge and that's not what we want 
going to go ahead and convert off of that for a kill and the way i did that was i adjusted the combo what i did was i did side attack into face steal then i rolled and immediately hit side attack again very early that way i would be able to go into the neutral special again with the copied move and take her out of the match and that is what aria can look like in a game against another person whether it be competitive or casual if you're able to practice this character as much as possible you can replicate some of the things i did in that match so overall everybody i hope you enjoyed that match this is how you play Arya stark from the game of thrones series in multiverses she is a very good character but she also has a character that is not without any weaknesses there is a lot of expression in how to play this character and how to pretty much stylize her into something of your own. So I advise you to pretty much craft your own way of playing her, but you can use these tips to get a head start on some of the best ways to use her and some ways where you can pick and take what you want to do to pretty much stylize your own way of making Arya Stark play in a way that works for you best. I recommend this character to all levels despite me feeling like she might be an intermediate level character. However, if you are a fan, you should play Arya Stark. She is a great character and I would love to see what you all do with her in multiverses. This is your community manager over at Player First Games, Nakat, signing out. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you have any more questions and if you would like to see more character guides like this, appreciate you watching. Take it easy.